gonna gonna start this video off with a little bit of this enlightened oil to get my, my chakras in line. Gonna take my placenta capsules. I've been taking them two at a time. Two a day. I'm a little bit sad because I, um, I'll be done taking my placenta capsules tomorrow. I only have two left. And like I said, I take two a day. It might sound crazy, but I feel like some type of way. I'm like, that's what was left over. Like that's the last of that experience that I had when I gave birth to little bun, Ellis, my son. Yeah, that's it. Tomorrow, that is it. Most of you guys know that I uh, encapsulated my own placenta um, encapsulation was like the top of the list of what I wanted to do um, even before I had gotten pregnant when I first heard about encapsulation I was like hmm never heard of that that sounds different uh, and I did research and after my research I was like I'm definitely gonna do that it was like not even a question initially I was seeking someone to encapsulate my placenta for me but I ended up like doing so much research I was like I can do this myself so I did it myself I'll show you guys some footage right here I wish I could have filmed but I was so focused and I wanted to make sure that I was thorough and was doing things right like I didn't even have the camera like I was lucky enough to like have my phone and take some little snaps of the process a little bit um, but that whole process was very I can't even explain it really. It was so amazing to see the sack that my little bun grew in for eight months because he was born four weeks early. Um, so I didn't make it to month nine, but it was just so amazing and to see, you know, the, the veins and just, it's amazing what the human body can do, um, that we grow a human being and so they say encapsulation has numerous benefits. One big benefit that people get from it um, or people have claimed to have gotten from it has been uh, their ability to knock out postpartum depression. Now for some reason postpartum depression was not ever something that I thought I would have to worry about because of the joy I felt my entire pregnancy. I just knew that when my son arrived that I would just be so full of joy and that's exactly what it was. So I wasn't, um, that wasn't one of the benefits that I was seeking. Um, however, one benefit that I was seeking was that milk production. And they say that uh, placenta encapsulation or consuming your placenta any type of way uh, definitely was a benefit to your milk production and it would give you an abundance of it. <laughs> People have also said that it helps regulate your hormones and even shrink your uterus down so that you know you get rid of the uh, pregnancy tummy faster. My son is now four months old and I wish I would have filmed this video sooner because some of the things I know I am going to forget. Let me grab him. You got squash on your nose. 
He has squash all over your nose. <laughs> he has squash on his nose, you guys. I am already giving him um, solids. Not, it's not solid, but pureed veggies. And he really likes them. Um, that's another video. I'll get into that in another video um, very, very soon. You're gonna watch mama film you laughing? <laughs> you laughing at me? Okay, so he wants to sit up. So, um, oh, where was I? Yeah, so I wish I would have filmed this sooner, but I know I did not encapsulate my placenta right away. Um, when I uh, when I gave birth, the hospital had no problem giving me my placenta. I just had to sign this waiver and, um, they, you know, they, uh, packaged it up nicely for me and put it on ice and I had it taken home while I was in the hospital. So it was, um, in my refrigerator from day one. I actually ended up freezing it because I I didn't really have it in me to like sit there and try to make sure I did this placenta encapsulation correctly. So I did not encapsulate my placenta until about I want to say three, no maybe four weeks later, four weeks post. It was not a hard process at all. I'd say anyone can encapsulate their own placenta even though I know um, some of you who do that professionally um, I would probably not recommend that. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into uh, my experience consuming my placenta via capsules. I was producing milk, um, it, my, it definitely came in and then, so I used to drink this tea that helped my milk production and um, that was great, but my milk production was just like crazy, nearly doubled, like, overnight when I started taking my placenta capsule. My experience, the placenta capsules definitely help with milk production. I had not had any adverse effects to uh, consuming my placenta until recently. I had fallen off of um, taking them. Um, life just gets hectic at times and you just I don't know, you just kind of forget to take them. So um, I actually did not take them for about a week and I saw a decrease, a dip in my milk production. I produced about 40 ounces, 35 to 40 ounces uh, per day. The most milk I've ever produced was 47 ounces in a single day. I think that's an abundance of milk. But when I went that week without taking my uh, capsules. I uh, did see a dip in my milk and it would only be like 18 to 24 ounces a day and that's extreme to me. So I got back on to taking my capsules and then I started getting headaches when I would take my capsules. When I would take them, I would experience headaches. Um, I did go online and do a little bit of research and they say that you may get headaches if you um, like do not drink enough water when you're taking your capsules. So I figured hmm, maybe that's what it is. I'm not hydrated enough for them. Um, plus I live in Arizona, it's already uh, one day last week we were in the triple digits, um, but the morning we're already past like 80 degrees. What's wrong, honey? As far as shrinking the uterus, I can't really vouch for the placenta capsules shrinking the uterus because according to the nurses in the hospital, like the same day that I gave birth, like hours later, they were like, wow, your uterus shrunk really fast. By the time I went home, they're like, yep, your uterus feels like it's pretty much back to normal, you're good. Um, so I can't really vouch for that. Regulating my hormones. Uh, there was not a point where I was depressed or anything. Um, that's totally normal after giving birth. But my skin was going crazy. When I started taking my capsules, I did notice my skin clearing up and now I really don't have like any bumps or any breakouts on my face at all um so yay to that so along with no type of depression or anything i also did not feel stressed and i don't know maybe the the capsules had something to do with that or um i don't know i'm a pretty i'm pretty much a easy breezy go with the flow type of girl anyways consuming your placenta is said to increase the um stress 
relief hormone. Another benefit was uh, getting your iron levels back on because giving birth you lose so much blood. And since giving birth I have not been iron deficient at all so that's really great now most healthcare providers don't have information on placenta encapsulation because there's like no science behind it that proves that this does benefit you in any type of way and also they'll tell you that it's more of a risk to consume your placenta than it is to like not consume it but me i'm the type of person like hey I gotta try it. I have to try it. Like, I don't want to just go off of hearsay. I have to try it for myself. So I tried it and um, I would definitely do it again. And I feel like the good outweighed the bad. Like, nothing, nothing happened to me. The only bad definitely was just the headaches. Um, and that could have been because I stopped taking them and then started taking them again. Um, so yeah, that's it. I more so wanted to get this video up for you guys uh, so we can treat the comment section like a forum because uh, I get so many questions on my Snapchat about placenta encapsulation and milk supply and all of that. Um, so I do have numerous videos that I do need to film so we can get some conversations going and get some of your questions answered because I definitely know what it's like to, you know, either be pregnant and trying to do some research to make a decision on whether I want to do this or not. So I'm here to answer all of your questions. I really love to talk to new moms and moms with several kids because I mean, being a mom, you can never get too much information. Hear other people out on their experiences with, you know, certain things. But at the end of the day, follow your gut, follow your intuition. You know exactly what your baby needs and not everything works for everyone. So yeah, get down in the comments. Let's go ahead and chit chat.